Welcome to this look at new mods and the free content update number six on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Tuesday the 25th of April, we've got some new mods, we've got some updates, we've also got a free content update number six with patch 1.9.1 from Giants. Uh, we'll start off with the standard updates i guess we've got the swather pack by bc bueller the class jaguar 82880 by ed123 the tractor k700 by timer zanyov 102 mac e farmer erland 10 the new holland t8 us eu by blower the schluter 2500 vl by mtl modding team the mar ag pack by smi modding team the transport swap body by hr forced and fazoigbau the farm production production by omatana the bavarian houses by lucas g the small herman garage including warehouse by top ace 888 and the pumps and hoses pack by creative mesh have all had updates so as far as the um free content goes we have got in front of us some machinery and equipment which i'm going to go through in a moment we've got a massive ferguson 6s a massive ferguson 7s we've got a massive ferguson 2370 ultra hd square baler a massive ferguson rb 4160v protec round baler a fent squandra 1290 n ut i think it was um square baler and a fent rotana 160v combi uh round baler so we'll have a look at those in a moment, but the patch notes, I'm going to put up on the screen now. I'm not going to read them all out, but I'll put them up on the screen so you can pause it and have a look at the patch notes if you want to. So, the mods themselves then. Massey Ferguson 6S is here. We've got Anniversary Edition some bells and whistles these sound really nice as well really quality stuff 21 slots the 7s also 21 slots now the two square balers the massey ferguson and the fent they're identical just a fent and a massey version of so the options are the same on both of them so i've got one of each so that's that's the massey ferguson 2370 ultra hd um that's the square balers are 12 slots each and then we've got the round balers. Again, the Fent and the Massey one are identical, just labelled differently. Really interesting section on the back here. A different way for the unload as well. And the wrap. The wrap runs on a rotating disc rather than kind of up and around. You'll see as, as we have a look at them. Um, these run at 15 slots each. Really nicely detailed as well. All singing, all dancing. So... We'll go to the tractors first. I think the options are the same for tyres on them. But under small tractors, we'll find the 6S. Slot count comes down to 1. 113,500 for the base model. We can have 135 horsepower, 145, 155, 165 or 180 horsepower. We have got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitus, Bigetti, Vredestein, Nokian and back. Under Trelleborg... Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Freudstein, Nokian. Then we've got interior setup. We've got exclusive in there with some nice stuff. And the roof looks like that. Then we go to efficient, which takes out a lot of the bells and whistles inside and gives you a, say, a more standard roof, but it gives you the ability to look up and out. So if you're running a front loader and stuff, that makes life a little bit easier if you want that. Design standard or the anniversary edition. I do like that. It changes the carpet inside, gives you anniversary edition carpet in there as well. Three-point link on the front, then we run through uh, just the mounting bracket and then a selection of weights. Back to three-point, front loader attacher, no, quick, power, back off again, and license plate option on there too. If we then come out of there and we go to our medium tractors, the 7S is just there. 
21 slots also comes down to 1. 155, 165, 180, 190, 210 horsepower are our options. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Bigetti, Freudstein, Nokian, back. I think the tyre choices are the same. Pretty sure. Continental. Midas. Bigetti. Oh yeah, so we've got standards rather than just wides on those ones. Flodestein. I do like the slightly rounded nature of the the, the Flodestein and that. That looks nice on the, the twins. Nokian. So the same thing, we've got exclusive interior, efficient interior, design standard or anniversary. Same with the three point, and then we go through all the suitcase weights. Front will attach a quick hour off. License plate, yes or no? That's the tractors. If we come down and we go to our balers, up to our balers even. So, just here, we've got the two new ones. So, the MF, the Massive Ferguson RB 4160V Protec, and the Rotana 160V Combi. These are the two round balers, both 84,500. Slot count 15 will come down to one. Um, the options on them are exactly the same. So we can have wrapper design standard or with a bale end turner. If you want them to sit flat on the ground rather than roll away. Foil colour, any one of those. Licence plate option on there too. Like I say, same on the fence. And if we scroll across until we get to these two here. The Massive Ferguson 2370 Ultra HD and the Squandra 1290 NUD. 164 grand each, slot counts 12, which come down to one. Options are the same on both these as well. They're very low and sleek looking. Very nice design. Uh, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Averagestein. We do have a standard and a wide option. And then we have a license plate option on there. Two. So let's start. Actually, we'll start with the round baler. Lights, horn and beacons. I'm going to detach that first because this sounds great. Interior. Which one was this? I think this is the exclusive, isn't it? Yeah, the exclusive. In here, I think I went for one of each. We'll hook up to the Fent round baler. Oh, I know, I've forgotten. There we go. So that's it, drop down. I've got a bale in turner on this one. Uh, turn off automatic drop. It's on automatic drop, so I'll leave that on. Pick up, down. You do have to stop, it's not a fast bail, but it's the wrap. I love the way that rotates around on that platform the whole lot. And then the platform lifts up away. It's brilliant. Very cool. We just turn that so we can change it from 125 to 150 centimetre bail on the round baler. nice so that's the success and the round baler so the 7s 
lights, beacons, horn, interior of this one, a lot more basic, no screens there and also I do like that with the window up on the top there, so I say if you are running a front load or something like that you can see a lot easier loading stuff on there. So, banner on the back, does have beacons, lights on that, long fold that one. This one we can have uh, at 200, so 180, 220 or 240 centimetre barrels. We'll go with middle of the road, we're 220. Turn it on, drop down the pickup. And it runs like a square bayload should run. The 7S doesn't seem to have the same wine as the uh, 6. Maybe it does. We'll detach it from the trip, the uh, fader in a moment and we'll have a listen. They're not quite as much of a wine. Very nice tractors. So, that's the free content update, number six from Giants. Moving on. We have this. This is the Home Weight. This is by Rowley Christie, one VSR modding, sir. 1.26 megabytes download, two slots on console. The lights on the front of it. It's quite heavy, actually. Um, I've got a fertilizer spread on the back and it's it's very weighty over the front axle you'll find this under weights just there 3.5 ton 3500 kilos you can have front weight or rear weight it just widens it out a little bit for the the three point links main color at the moment it's on anti-slip panel but then we can go for flat colours whether they be the matte or a standard but if you want to have the checkerboard checker plate that's the one you want to go for so start this up there's your lights There's no ability to manually raise or lower it, just raises or lowers automatically, like so. That's the weight, let's turn the lights off on that. So that's the home weight by Rowley Christie 1, VSR Modding Sir. Then we move on to, actually we'll do this, on the back we've got the KUHN, if you know why I'm saying it like that, you know why. The KUHN, this is the Acura 1600 by FBT Modding. 1.65 megabytes download, two slots on console, 36 meter spread width. There are no options on this. You'll find it under tools and you'll find it under fertilizer spreaders. It only does fertilizer, it doesn't do lime. So out there on the end, just fertilizer, it doesn't do lime. Slot count will come down to one, no options. So what should happen? There we go. 36 meter spread width. Nice and wide, 1,600 litre tank. A standard. The KUHN Akira 1600 by FBT Modding. Move that back out of the way. Next we have got this. 
trust here. This is the Raul STF301. This is by Jonas. Uh, 3.72 megabytes download, two slots on console, three meters wide. There are no options on this either. This is a mechanical cultivator. So that's where we'll find it, just there. Oh, and then 6,700. Slot count will come down to one. 45 horsepower required, no options available. You get it just like that. Now this will, if you've got field stones turned on, this is not a shallow cultivator. As you can see, it's designed to be front mounted. So you can run other stuff behind it. So you don't turn it on, just drop it down. There we go, so as you can see, it does that cultivating state rather than shallow. I haven't got the field stones on, but if I go onto this one, I might as well get field stones already out on it. But that's the state it will give you. It's interesting that, the design of that. Cool. That's the Rao STF301 by Jonas. Uh, next. We have these. This is the Steel Road Plates. This is by LT Grip and SM Modding. 0.24 megabytes download, one slot on console. These uh, are actually under fences and you place them out like fences, designed for areas where the ground's a bit boggy, a bit marshy. What I will say is the ground needs to be flat because as you can see, on areas where it's not quite flat and if you go over grass as well, it doesn't go over the grass texture. The grass texture comes through it. You can see where we've got a little bit here that's elevated and the grass coming through. So you want it to be as flat as possible and the base texture without having the grass on there if you're going to place them just something to be aware of. I mean that could be specific to this map um, but that's what I've found while I've been doing it on here anyway. Under build mode, under decoration, under fences, 75 it starts off at, we place just like fencing, so we put it down and then drag and it will charge you more and more depending on how much you have. We can change direction, anywhere you want like so. What we should be able to do as well, if we go up and out and we go across to demolish, we should be able to demolish it. There we go. So if you've placed too many or you don't like where it is, you can go back in and you can take it all out. No problem at all. I like that. So that's the steel road plates by LT Grip and SM Modding. Uh, next we've got this. Uh, where is it? Over here. We've got the RC Mower. Uh, this is by FBT Modding as well. 1.29 megabytes download, two slots on console, two meters wide. We can have an old version or a new version. Can you guess which one I've gone for? This you'll find under mowers. Just there. It's only 1,000. 50 horsepower required. For the new one, 1,200. But if you go for the old version, it takes 200 off and drops it to 1,000. So it depends if you want the new or the old. Those are the only two options you can have on it. It up. You can see all the belts on the top. Turn it on. Drop it down. And away we go. As you can see, it will mow in both directions. So if you did want to mount it on the front, you could. It will mow both ways. That's the RC Mower by FBT Modding. Uh, next we have got... This. This is the truck mounted spreader by Ninja02. 19.73 megabytes download, 20 slots on console. We can have it a 36 meter or a 48 meter, and I've just realized I've picked the wrong one. I mean, I haven't picked the wrong one, I've just picked one, but it's not the one I thought it was. <laughs> Typical. 
nice and detailed, nicely modelled. I have to say, with it loaded up, the suspension is very solid. Um, there's not a lot of give in it. You'll see, I'll drive it in a moment and you'll see. But you'll find this under trucks, just out there. Slot count will come down to one. 500 horsepower. So we've got the tank size at 9,000 litres with an extension to 11,000 or a big extension to 14,000. We've got wheel brand, Trelleborg, Continental, BKT, back again on Trelleborg. We've got those two. Continental, just that one. BKT, just that one, back again. So 36 metres is as it is, spreading discs. If you go for 6 metre spreading unit, it takes it out to 48 metres. That's what I meant to put on. Um, actually, there's no reason why I couldn't get another one. Main colour, anything on that palette. Design colour, does the tub. At the moment, it's on stainless steel. But we can change the colour of that if you want to. Rim colour is on beige at the moment. There is a chrome there, but there's other colours as well if you wish. Licence plate option on there as well. Let's lease that. Because I think what I will do as well is... We'll go and get it in a second. At the moment I've got this on lime. So what I'm going to do... This should spread out to 36 metres with lime in. You see as I'm driving... At the front, there's not a lot of suspension movement. It seems very solid on that suspension as we're moving across the ground. Horn. Lights. Beacons. Interior. Turn it on. Ah, oh, now that's interesting. I did wonder, that's why I put lime in it. That's not 36 metres, so the lime spreading won't be. I'm just going to check on the Mod Hub website to see if it says. Oh, there we go. Right, so 36 metres or 48 metres for fertiliser. Lime, 16 or 30. So that's 16 metres. If I'd gone for the spread of arms, it would go out to 30. So I'm going to go and grab the other one, do the fertiliser. So as we're heading out, we'll open up the spreader bars, spreader arms. I'll come across another, you see how solid that is? As it bounces, it's like it's got lowered, stiffened suspension. Anyway, turn around. So this should go out to 48. Which I'm pretty sure, is it 42 is what we have most of the time now? There you go, look at that. That's cool. So there we go. That's the truck mounted spreader by Ninja02, which brings me to the last of the mods for today while I'm walking over. We do have a map today. The eagerly anticipated, long awaited, The Valley the Old Farm by Black Sheep Modding has been released. I will be getting onto the map tour of that as soon as possible. Whether that will post tonight or first thing tomorrow morning, I'm not too sure at the moment, but I will get onto it as soon as possible. So, last of the mods, we've got the Prinoth Leitwolf Pack by HR Forst und Fazoigbau, 10.5 megabytes download, 18 slots on console for the main vehicle, and then we've got two um, levelers. One of them is standard, one of them is a pro version. They're both three slots, both five meters. That's the main vehicle with the three point link on the back. The difference between this and the standard in game one, uh, I think we've got a couple of horsepower options on this, plus the um, leveler is detachable because there are two that come in the pack, whereas the standard in game one just comes with the leveler. Um, I have got um, a compact on the back as well that you can, I mean, you've got a three point link on the standard in game one, and obviously, as you can see, we've got some color options, choices on it as well. That is incredibly bright. Um, now, it does say, as far as it goes, we'll, we'll see. I don't use levelers very often, in all honesty, but... Oh, I've just gone to the Mod Hub, and it's showing... We've got an update to Galgenberg as well. That was not it, earlier. Hang on. Doesn't say if it needs a new save game or not. There you go. That's a good, good job I checked. Uh, so, yeah, under this, it says... Leveler standard version. Slide function and material recording are always aligned horizontally to the world. There is always a straight surface. You can push everything and everywhere. The Leveler Pro, a reality version. The wings are separately controllable. I'll show that in a moment. 
um, also affects the sliding width. If the leveler is placed at an angle, an incline plane is also created. It requires constant correction of position and it can push everything everywhere. So what should happen with this one is when I hook it up and drive it across, it will flatten that. I'll get a level as I go. With this one, then that should be no matter what angle I put that on, it should give me a flat surface. With this one, if I put it at an angle, it, sh it should give me an angle. I think as if I'm reading that correctly. So let's hop in, start it up. Lights. Beacons on top, depending on what beacon you've gone for, if you've gone for beacons. What I'm going to do though is we'll have a look at it first. So, under miscellaneous, there's your standard one. No options available, we'll get it just like that. This one, slot count will come down from 18 to 1. So we can have 435 horsepower or 672. Window tinting, yes or no. Beacon, we've got a few designs of beacon there. Main colour, anything on that palette. Interior colour, anything on that palette. Decal colour, let's go, doesn't really matter. I don't know, I can't really see the pink on there, can you? Let's go with blue, that should stand out a bit better. Uh, air conditioner on the top, we can change the colour of that as well. Crawler colour, does the inside sections of the tracks. And then we come out of there and we go to our tools and we go to levellers. So scrolling across, we've got the standard leveller, six grand. Slot count comes down to one from three. And then the leveller pro, eight grand. Slot count comes down. Options on both of these, main colour, anything on that palette. And the bottom section, anything on that palette as well. We'll do that. That's the same on both. So let's see, shall we? If I hook it up. We've got up, down, side to side. And we've got rotate that way and that way. So we can get all sorts of interesting angles on this. Now, this should, <laughs> I say should, if I drive up into the park, it should give me a straight, flat level as it pushes. Now that shouldn't matter what angle I put that at. It should give me straight, flat level. As you can see, look, that's going pretty much as we go across. So even though I've got that at a slight angle, let's do it a bit more. Yeah, pretty much. So, what should happen with the other one then, <laughs> we'll see, is if I lift that up and tilt it at an angle, It should push at an angle. See, so it's not going straight. We've still got an angle on there. Which means if I want it to be level, I've got to continually adjust that to get the straight and level that I want. There you go. So it's a bit more realistic to how it would be in the real world. That's the difference between the two. If I tilt that way. There you go, see it's tilting at an angle. It worked! Now you know what I'm like for doing mod reviews. Sometimes with the best will in the world you think something's going to work a certain way and it doesn't quite work the way it, you thought it would. That has worked absolutely perfectly. Within the realms of how it's supposed to anyway. So. Standard beacons I went from this one. Interior. Nice, neat, and tidy. You know what I nearly forgot? On the pro version. Oh, yeah, camera angles as well. Sorry. Forgot the camera angle. So, pro version, L1, R1. We can bring the sides in as well. Up and down, side to side which you don't get the option on the standard version. That's what I meant to show you. Apologies for that. That is a good camera angle as well, though.
Very cool indeed. The Prinoff Lightwolf pack by HR Forst and Farzoig Bow. That's it for the mods for Tuesday, the 25th of April. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.